Prince Harry wears his military medals and makes comedy debut in Montecito. The Duke of Sussex showed off his sense of humor as he made fun of himself for an important cause. The Duke of Sussex showed off his sense of humor in a video filmed at his Montecito home for the 17th annual Stand Up for Heroes. Prince Harry proudly wore his military medals in the video, in which the royal delivered a stand-up style monologue. Hello New York, he began. Obviously I was deeply honored when Bob asked me to debut my stand-up act with you all tonight. He said, referencing journalist Bob Woodruff and the Bob Woodruff Foundation, which hosted the event at Lincoln Center, in New York City in partnership with the New York Comedy Festival. Harry went on to poke fun at himself, saying, due to the shockingly low representation of gingers last year. And out of respect for my fellow endangered species, here I am, reporting for duty. The 39-year-old also joked about never being scrutinized, as well as taking advice from a Reiki healer. As someone who never gets scrutinized, I haven't even had to prepare much, he said. But out of an abundance of caution, I have been working on this particular act for quite some time and everyone I know tells me it's perfect. And no, these aren't people who just tell me what I want to hear. These are people like my finance manager, my lawyer, and of course, my Reiki healer. A cough was heard from someone off camera, and Harry was handed a script. So, we're not doing the thing? He asked. Before reading the first sentence. Thank you for having me to this splendid evening celebrating our incredible veterans. He then put the paper on the floor, saying. It's okay, I got this, before delivering a more serious message in honor of the military community. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Service is what happens in the quiet and the chaos, he said. And whether we are wearing the uniform or not, we must continue to uphold the values we learn side by side on the base, on the drill square and on the battlefield. Values of service, values of honor and integrity and values of togetherness and solidarity. I know our journeys to this point differ but we are always connected through what we learned as humans. What we faced as families and how we've come out stronger because of our ability to listen, to understand, to support one another. Stand Up for Heroes was founded in 2007 by Bob and Lee Woodruff. A New York comedy festival founders Caroline Hirsch and Andrew Fox. With the aim of raising money to support service members and raise awareness about the tough challenges veterans are facing. It's a cause that is close to Prince Harry's heart as the royal himself served in the military for 10 years, including two tours in Afghanistan. He has also worked to raise money for service members and founded the Invictus Games in 2014, which offers a recovery pathway for international wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women. Prince Harry is poking fun at himself. The Duke of Sussex made his comedy debut at the 17th annual Stand Up for Heroes benefit. The 39-year-old gave a speech at the event which is held to support veterans, service members and their families. As someone who never gets scrutinized, I haven't even had to prepare much. But I have been working on this particular act for quite some time. And everyone I know tells me it's perfect. No, these aren't people who just tell me what I want to hear. Oh no, Harry's tongue-in-cheek speech began. Harry's words at the event which was presented by the Bob Woodruff Foundation. A New York comedy festival, then took a more serious turn and he opened up about how special the military community is. It's one that shares incredible highs and painful lows, he continued. It is unique and that is hugely important to society both. During active service and after. Our community is valued more than you'll ever know. And nights like this are testament to that. The Duke of Sussex served in the military for 10 years and undertook two tours of Afghanistan. He first served in Helmand province in 2007 and 2008, but his tour was cut short after a media outlet broke a news embargo. And revealed that he was in the war zone. He later returned for a second tour in 2012. Harry concluded his speech with a heartfelt note to his fellow veterans and their families. In his virtual speech, Harry poked fun at himself during the clip for the Stand Up For Heroes show. And also joked about people with ginger hair like himself being an endangered species. Other gags included someone off camera handing him a speech to keep him on script. And a quip about his new life with his family in California not being scrutinized. The Duke also said, 
due to the shockingly low representation of gingers last year. And out of respect for my fellow endangered species, here I am, reporting for duty. And he joked, as someone who never gets scrutinized, I haven't even had to prepare much. But out of an abundance of caution, I have been working on this particular act for quite some time and everyone I know tells me it's perfect. And no, these aren't people who just tell me what I want to hear. These are people like my finance manager, my lawyer, and of course, my Reiki healer. He asked, so, we're not doing the thing, before reading the script. Thank you for having me to this splendid evening celebrating our incredible veterans. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.